Hey, I'm Jake, and for this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I make my 808 glides using the Alchemy Sampler. So this is a follow-up to my previous video where I'll leave a link. So basically, I want my Alchemy Synth 808, this is it, and I want it to glide by drawing in the MIDI notes. So let's play the example and notice the 808. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do is start from scratch. I'll keep this MIDI file. You're gonna open up the Alchemy Synth and we're gonna import the sample that we're looking for. So I'll open up Alchemy, click the Advanced tab, click File, click Initialize Preset, and that should give me a blank template. Now in Sources, I'll click the bar and click Import Audio. We'll just shrink this down a bit. Then I'll press F. This is where you can locate your sample, and I'll just drag that sample over to the right side of the Alchemy Synth import settings. Make sure I click Sampler, and make sure the mapping is pitch. The great thing about doing this is that it automatically detects the pitch of the sample and scales it accordingly in your MIDI keyboard. So this is what we have so far, and if I import my region, you'll hear that it's actually not complete. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that it's set in mono, meaning only one MIDI note can be triggered at one time. So I'll just make this a bit bigger now. And to do that, you want to go over, you want to look over to the right hand side of the Alchemy Synth in Voices, look at the number 8 and click 1. But you still won't have the glide. It's triggering one MIDI note, but it's not gliding it. So the way to make it glide is by clicking the Always section and making sure you click, you click Legato. So click Legato, and to the right, there's a knob that says Glide, and you can adjust this accordingly. You can adjust this by the percentage of the rate or by time, which is set in milliseconds. I'm going to stick with the rate and push this to the extreme. Now you may be wondering what the priority section is over, over here. It's currently at newest, and I leave it at that. The reason why I do that is because the newest section makes sure that no matter how I align my MIDI, no matter what the distance is from the first MIDI note to the second one, it will not affect how much glide is established. So if I minimize the overlap, can see it from here, it still will not affect how it sounds. If I were to change it, it affects the whole glide. Now the MIDI length matters. That's why I leave the priority setting at newest. So no matter what I do, the glide settings the glide time stays consistent, even if I make this lower. As long as you make sure that there's an overlap between the two MIDI notes that you want to glide, there will be a glide effect. So I hope this video helped and I hope to see you next time. Take care.